Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing my week 56 updates of my fitness journey and you guys get a treat because I am filming with my bed made and everything. Normally I just sit on the floor and just have like a blank wall, but I just decided to knock out videos today. So this is what you're working with. I hope you guys like it. It's a special treat. So like normal, I'm just going to go through what I did this week and then I'm gonna kind of run down the Chloe Ting 2021 shred because I am almost done. I have one more day of the challenge I've been following and then we will just get on to the progress photos. Again, sorry if the lights change. The sun is going in and out today. So starting off Sunday was an upper body day. So we had the tone arms upper body uh, with weights and then we had the tone arms and then that was pretty much it. We did the tone arms twice in a row, which you guys know I'm not a fan of. I just filmed it once because I think that would just get repetitive. I did the full workout the way she wanted it. And then I added on the Alexis Ren ab challenge because I really want to work on my abs just to get some of the muffin top gone, you know? Moving on to Monday, I did the 15 minute full body hit. And then I did the six pack abs workout. Then I did the 10 minute butt challenge. And this was a good combination of workouts. Not really much to be said. That was my Monday and I'm glad I did that. Um, I don't know why it's showing up that I did the cool down, but I didn't do the cool down. Then on Tuesdays, I don't work out because I just take the day off on Tuesday. Wednesday, it was kind of a hardcore day because I did the 10 minute hit to burn calories. And then I did the get abs and flat stomach workout. That's an okay workout. I think it's pretty challenging. Then I did the eight minute lower abs, lower belly workout. That's the one that's sponsored by Victoria's Secret. And that one was pretty good, but overall it wasn't like my favorite. Then we had the 10 minute butt workout, get a booty burn or quick booty burn. And then on top of that, I added on the 10 minute Alexis Wren ab challenge because I just really like that video. I wish Alexis Wren would come out with more like workouts because I really like her and her like style and stuff. And then Thursday, I actually worked out because I didn't want to work out today because today is a really big YouTube day. So yesterday I did the 10 minute toned arms twice because she had us do that twice. And again, I'm not a fan of that, um, but I did follow the plan. And then I did the tight core workout, 15 days plank workout challenge. And that one was pretty challenging to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of planks. Pamela Reef actually is the one that got me doing planks a lot more just because a lot of her workouts end with a plank. But overall, like when I did this plank challenge um, by Chloe Ting, I almost always felt it more in my upper body rather than my abs. So that's why I didn't really like that one because if it's supposed to tighten your core, like I really didn't feel it. Um, and then I did the 10 minute Alexis Ren ab challenge, ab workout, whatever. I didn't film this, but I also did the Pamela Reef five minute stretch just to stretch out my body and stuff. And that is what I did this week. A little overview and a little review of Chloe Ting's 2021 shred. I think it was an okay plan. I really enjoyed some of the days, but I found it to be really repetitive and I don't like that necessarily, um, especially with the same day with the same workout, like do the tone arm workout twice. Well, can she just pick another arm workout to like put in there rather than just doing the exact same video over again? I'm just not a fan of that. A lot of Chloe Ting's workouts, which I might add into my Chloe Ting Pamela Reef um, comparison video, a lot of Chloe's workouts, you have to have some level level of coordination or you're gonna be a little bit stumped. Like some of the workouts like I was stumped out on and I have pretty good coordination when it comes to like moving my body and stuff. That is another thing to just keep in mind when you're doing this plan if you're following it. I do love Chloe's weighted workouts. All of the workouts that she included, that she included 
included weights in the workout I really enjoyed and they were really super challenging so I will probably continue to do those there's a couple workouts that I really don't like in this plan one being the tight core and arms it's the one where she's wearing like a pink workout set and it's part of the 2021 plan so you guys would probably know it's the tight core and arms one and the arms workout not my favorites don't really feel anything when I do that don't really like the plank workout because I find that to be like really hard to coordinate and I don't feel it in my abs I just feel it in my arms like when I'm struggling to like hold myself up so I'm not a fan of that some of her hit workouts are really intense and they're really good but I don't like the coordination again like there's this crawling workout whenever she has this like jump in and out like from a plank to a squat like just back and forth it really hurts my knees so those are a couple things that I really don't like about the plan obviously the music choice not my favorite I always turned it like super low so I just didn't have to listen to it but I kept it I kept the volume up just a little bit so I could hear like the ding 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 like when you're almost done and you just like give up when you hear the first ding <laughs> so that is pretty much like the negatives I have about the plan. Would I do the plan over again? Probably not, but it was something fun to get into the new year with and I don't regret doing it. I do feel like it helps, especially with like the way I've been eating, like helping with the cardio and stuff. So I do think that is a really good thing about the plan as well. The best thing about the plan, okay? I don't know what it is, but my butt, okay? Like I think my butt looks so good. I think it's due to her butt workouts. There's so many Many. She almost always has a booty workout in this plan every day So I think that is why my butt looks so good or it feels good It just feels so muscular like out of all the workouts like my butt out of everything which is kind of funny So I wanted to give a little update about my butt which is really weird, but <laughs> no pun intended on the left is January 15th and this is the beginning of like my journey and stuff with doing the Chloe Ting 2021 shred and then on the right is today which is February 12th of 2021 and honestly I see a major difference I don't know what it is maybe it's the angle I don't know but like my butt has grown I think looking at the photos I think I think so and then moving on to just like the full body photos on the left is last week and on the right is this week and then here is the side view of that moving on to the beginning of this year's journey so on the left is the beginning of year two working out and on the right is now and honestly I haven't lost too much weight so far um, I'm really trying but you know the Girl Scout cookies just came and you know two of those things are like so much and they're the size of a quarter all right so like I don't know what's going on here Girl Scouts but there's probably nothing of nutritional value in those so that's probably why they're all like that and and here's the side view of that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel have you tried chloe ting's workouts what you think of them what plan did you follow if you did i'm going to continue on and finish out the last day on sunday i think and then i'm probably gonna head back to pamela reef just because i've missed her videos i've missed doing her workouts so much so i guess with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye